It's been described as the black turtleneck of lipsticks. It's been around for over 50 years. It went viral on TikTok last year. So why am I still talking about it? Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Fortified. And of course, I am talking about the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. Now, I know that this has been around for a long time, but it's only just launched in South Africa. And I was very, very excited to get my hands on it. Now, at the beginning of last year, I started a series called Throwback Classics, and I will put a link to it in the video. And this was all about makeup that has been around forever in a day and has still stood the test of time. And when I was researching this series, one of the products that I came across was Clinique Black Honey. Now, it was developed in 1971. It used to come in a little pot. And in 1989, they changed the, the formula or the product casing, and it now comes in a lipstick that looks like that. And I was absolutely devastated to find that I couldn't get my hands on it when I wanted to do the video because it wasn't available in South Africa. I looked at importing it. It was very, very expensive. I couldn't justify the price. And so when I got a little email from Clinique in my inbox this week to say that it's landed in South Africa, I was very, very excited and got my hands on one as soon as possible. And in my research as well, I was looking at dupes for black honey and the closest thing that I came across was Burt's Bees and this is in the color Red Dahlia. Now I wasn't sure how close it was to the original because of course I had nothing to compare it to. So when I got my hands on black honey the first thing I wanted to do was a side by side comparison. Now black honey is three and a half times the price of Burt's Bees. And it's described as an almost lipstick, so it's kind of a sheer balm. And apparently it works on all skin tones. It will translate slightly differently on dark skin tones, on redheads, on people with fair skin. So that's why they describe it as the black turtleneck of lipsticks. And it's just a lipstick that goes with everything and goes with all skin tones. Now I had a look at the ingredients. There's nothing that I could pick up that really stood out to me. Of course, the Burt's Bees lip balm is a balm and it has moisturizing properties as well. So I have been using this a lot and I know, you know, what it feels like on the lips. It is very comfortable to wear and it is something that I just throw on on days when I'm wearing a really pared down look or in fact on days when my lips are really dry because it really does work for chapped lips. So I'm going to show you how the two compare. I'm going to do an application of each and then I'm going to come back and talk about whether it was worth the price or whether I was just a little bit disappointed. I've lined my lips with a very, very neutral lip pencil and I'm using the NYX 828 EVA. It's just a very neutral kind of nudie color. And I'm gonna be going in with the Black Honey. You need to do a couple of swipes just to get the color. So there you have the Black Honey. And now I'm going in with the Burt's Bees and I've got the same lip liner on. And that's the Burt's Bees. And so here's a comparison of the two side by side. So the image on the left hand side is Burt's Bees lip balm and the one on the right is the Black Honey. And I think that they are very, very similar. You could say that Black Honey is slightly more pigmented and I think that would be its one redeeming feature. So guys, what are my final thoughts? Well, I definitely prefer the pigmentation in Black Honey. I think that it really does have a very subtle but beautiful color to it. And it's fairly uh, comfortable on the lips. It does feel a little bit waxy to apply. It doesn't have any fragrance, but it definitely didn't dry out my lips. And it did have a fair amount of lasting power. In terms of the Burt's Bees, I would have to say it is more comfortable on the lips. It definitely does a better job of 
soothing and moisturizing my lips because it is a lip balm after all and it is something that I just pull out of my handbag I just slap it on when I'm having a really dry lip episode and it really is just easy to use so they're both very very similar but I would say that for the price Burt's Bees probably comes out tops so it is a third of the price of Clinique Black Honey and probably does a little bit more for your lips if you're looking for something to moisturize your lips but then Clinique does have a little bit more pigmentation so guys those are my thoughts let me know what you think let me know if you've tried black honey I'd love to hear from you I'm going to leave a link to my playlist on throwback classics in case you're interested if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time Ciao, ciao.